Well, hi there, everybody, and good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Tuesday morning, a tale of two types of air masses this morning. Now, it is fairly blustery either side of that cold front as it's making its way through. As of 7 a.m., it has passed through Kearney. It's passed through O'Neill and Ord and Holdridge. It has not passed through Grand Island and Hastings as of 7 a.m., but it is close. Out ahead of the front, it is very warm in the upper 70s and low 80s this morning after a hot day yesterday, and the winds are strong out of the south. Behind the front, the winds are also strong, but they're out of the north and northwest, although they are lighter out here. A few lingering clouds this morning. All the rain and thunderstorms are to our north, though. This cold front is going to advance east and southeastward very slowly today, eventually stalling out over southeast Nebraska and north central Kansas. The winds will remain strong ahead of the front out of the south, and it's going to be another hot day, not as hot as yesterday, but still hot. But behind the front, the winds will actually die down. I'm going to back this up. Notice the stronger winds here. Watch how those arrows slow down as the day goes on. So the winds will be lighter later on today behind the front, although maybe a little bit breezy still up here to the north and windy in the northwest part of the state there. Otherwise, lots of sunshine for most of the day. I'll go back one more time here. Look how the clouds clear out of here this morning. Lots of sunshine for the day today. Some clouds and maybe some th thunderstorms trying to fire up out west, but notice nothing firing up along our cold front this afternoon clouds trying to go up but what's going to happen basically there is a cap in the atmosphere so basically it's like a pot of boiling water and the lid is just put right over top of it preventing those storms from going up but eventually this evening those clouds are going to start to billow up just a little bit here and eventually thunderstorms are going to fire up but probably not until around or after sunset there you see it there there's nine o'clock this evening about sunset thunderstorms just starting to get going along that front but maybe a little bit better chance for them to develop right behind the front in here watch what happens between 9 p.m and about 10 30 or 11 o'clock those thunderstorms get going and the direction of the, the thunderstorm movement is going to be going from west southwest to east northeast and some of these storms may move over the same area so not only is there a chance of some severe thunderstorms but some locally heavy rainfall could be an issue maybe some isolated flooding out there as some storms move over the same area if they kind of redevelop and move over the same area so, so watch for some areas of flooding this could continue through the late night hours we're talking midnight right here continues through the late night hours by five six seven o'clock most of those done although there might be some lingering showers tomorrow morning meanwhile our front is still stalled out here over southeast nebraska very warm night right here cooler to the north and west though these isolated clouds are these clouds that'll last into tomorrow morning maybe some showers they're going to clear out of here tomorrow morning lots of sunshine wednesday afternoon your wednesday i'm going to back this up a little bit here your wednesday afternoon looking good it's going to be warm but not hot for tomorrow a little bit breezy as well lots of sunshine this looks to be our best day of weather if you don't like the heat this is your best day we're going to see for a long time because wednesday night those northerly and northwesterly winds are going to start to reverse course and become more southerly as warm air begins to lift northward on thursday this might trigger an early morning shower isolated thunderstorm chances might increase a little bit more as we get into the later portions of thursday though and thursday evening and we'll talk about that in just a bit but first here's your severe weather threat for tonight again most of this won't happen until after sunset most of us have a chance of some severe weather even out west but the chances are greatest in the yellow shaded areas that slight risk that's a level two out of five risk of severe storms your main threats we're looking at the threat of some large hail one to two inches in diameter so we're talking about quarter size hail to maybe as much as golf ball size or a little bit larger so hail is probably the primary threat with these strongest storms some damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour are a possibility tornado threat looks fairly limited fairly low can't completely say no to an isolated tornado but the chance is fairly low but again also look for that localized heavy rainfall in a few spots out there now tomorrow the severe weather threat and actually let's back this up real quick here i want to show you tomorrow's threat first tomorrow it looks like the se severe threat should be down to our south and off to our east most of us will stay dry for tomorrow but then uh, looking ahead to your thursday there is a marginal risk of severe storms from around the tri-city south and eastward here it's not a great chance but can't rule out some isolated strong to severe thunderstorms especially towards thursday uh, evening now on to the temperatures for the next couple of days now it's going to be much cooler than yesterday's triple digits but still hot ahead of that front in southeast nebraska we're still talking about upper 90s 
Tri-Cities. Our temperatures are dropping this morning as the cold front comes through. They'll rise back up into the upper 80s, perhaps near 90 degrees. Cooler 80s to the north and west. How about some 70s in the panhandle of Nebraska? Tonight, more pleasant out there. 50s and 60s for overnight lows. Look at the 40s in the panhandle tomorrow morning. Tomorrow for highs, this is our nicest day temperature-wise this week. The, lots of sunshine in the afternoon after some morning clouds and maybe a shower and thunderstorm in the morning. Highs into the 80s, the wind's a little on the breezy side. Tomorrow night, one of our cooler nights in the 50s and lower 60s. Again, 40s in the panhandle of Nebraska there. And then looking ahead to your Thursday, the heat begins to build back in. Upper 80s up north, 90s for most of us, even near 100 degrees down in northern Kansas. So the heat beginning to come in it's on its way it's going to be back for the end of this week and the weekend here so that's the three-day forecast this kind of sums it up right there good chance of storms tonight early tomorrow morning small chance thursday more so thursday evening a small chance there we'll go with a 20 percent chance after that it looks pretty much dry friday saturday sunday and even most of monday and it's going to be hot upper 90s triple digits saturday and sunday similar to yesterday that we're going to have the hot weather and the winds the winds will be strong again out of the south. Plenty of sunshine. Notice those overnight lows getting warmer in the 70s to near 80 degrees. Another hot one for your Monday. And then Monday evening, a cold front is going to pass through here. And that is going to bring us a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms. And it may also cool us back a little bit. We're still talking highs in the 90s for Tuesday through Thursday of next week. It's summer relief but it's still way above average for this time of the year. There's your average line. High is averaging in the mid 80s this time of the year. Other than tomorrow's near average high temperature, we're above average. Even today's above average, but we are soaring way above average this weekend, early next week, and then next week, cooling down, but still about 10 degrees above average for mid-June here. So uh, get ready, because the heat is on <laughs> for quite a while here, but at least a little bit of a break today, tomorrow. And again, watch that severe weather. Most of it won't happen until after dark mainly a hail threat you can always if you get pictures again even if it's dark if you can get a good picture of some hail tonight maybe it wakes you up uh send it in on our local four weather app there's a way to submit photos you can also do that on our website kcblocal4.com that's the best way for you to send those to us put them all in one nice location then we can get those either on the air tomorrow morning or we can also get those um on our website as well or in a web story something like that and we can also share them on social media otherwise we're not allowed to share them if you just send them to us on facebook or twitter or anything like that so please uh you either share that on the local four weather app and uh on our website ksb local four.com all righty uh well that is it for today i want to thank you all for watching on this tuesday i'll see y'all again wednesday morning for all the latest with your forecast until then take care enjoy your tuesday and god bless bye